Hey guys, welcome back to the Firebase part of the Swift login system. So last video took quite a while to get not too much done, um, but I really want to explain like the completion handler and such. So in this episode, we're gonna go a little bit faster. We're going to finish the auth service first, and then we can go back. So we've created a register user method. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make a sign in method and a sign out method, and then we're gonna hook this all up. So there'll be some other methods in here, but the sign in and sign out uh, methods are pretty easy so I want to do that quickly first before we hook anything up. So we're going to say public func sign in with user request and it's going to be of type login user request. So we haven't created this yet. So let's go into our models right here. We're going to make a new file and a Swift file. And we're going to call it login user request. So we're going to say struct login user request, and it's going to have let email string and let password string. So if you remember, we made the register user account before, and in this one, we have a username as well, but I thought that it would be nicer just to have a separate struct instead of making the username optional because in the register user request, it's not optional. So we're just gonna make its own separate class. So back in the auth service, we're gonna put a comma, and then we need a completion handler as well. So completion at escaping with an error, which is optional, dash uh, less than or greater than to void. So we're gonna say auth.auth.signin, and there's different ones. We want the with email and password and a completion. So with email, we're gonna say user request dot email. And for password, user request dot password. And then we're gonna click enter on the completion. And we have two parameters here. We have a result and we have an error, which both are optional. So we're gonna say, if let error equals error, we're gonna complete, we're gonna do a completion with that error. And then we're gonna return else. So if this is not an error, then this result should be true. So we could do a check on this, but I don't really think it's necessary. So we can just do a completion with nil. And in the case that this is nil, it will have signed in. Below that, we're gonna do a sign out method. We say public func sign out completion at escaping. Then we're gonna do the same thing, optional error into void. So the sign out method with Firebase is a throwing function. So we need to do a do, and we're gonna say catch let error. And in this case, we're gonna do a completion with the error. Otherwise, we're gonna try auth dot auth dot sign out, okay? And then we're gonna do a completion with nil. One of the nice things about Firebase is it will automatically know if we're signed in or not. We can check if we're signed in and the Firebase package is gonna deal with all that for us. But in the case that we're signed in, we're gonna to wanna to show that homepage. So we need to do that check. And where we're gonna do that check is in the scene delegate. So we're gonna start out there. So we're gonna say scene delegate. Now we need to delete this old code that I wrote earlier. We don't want that anymore. So if we look at what we're doing here, we're basically setting the window, we're creating it. And in the middle here, we are setting the Windows root view controller to the view controller navigation controller that we want. So I am going to clean this up a little bit. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna delete all these unneeded scene functions. Uh, I don't want those. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say private func setup window. 
and we're gonna say with scene UI scene. And then we're gonna copy this, or we're gonna cut this code into here. So guard lot window and let window equals UI window. And we're also gonna grab this right here. So we're gonna say self dot setup window with scene that we get passed here. And for now, we're just gonna comment this out. So we're gonna make another function, oops. And we're gonna call it public func check authentication, okay? And we're gonna come to the top and we're gonna say import Firebase auth. And the way that we check if we're logged in, Firebase will keep track of all of it. All we need to do is check and then show the window we want. So we're gonna say if auth, dot auth with the constructor dot current user equals nil. We're gonna go to sign in screen else go to home screen. So this is pretty easy. All we need to do is grab this code up here and we can just paste that there. And then we can literally just copy it again and change this to home controller. Uh-oh, so just clean this up. So I actually like to do some like animations on this. So I don't think this is actually the cleanest way to do this, but we can just test it out. We should be going to the home controller because before, if you remember, we had that function here that registered us. And so actually I forgot to call this method. So we're gonna say self.check authentication in the scene. So there we go. We went to the home screen because Firebase is keeping track of that. So since we're in the scene delegate, I'm just gonna show you guys now how to do the animation. So we're gonna say private func and it's also gonna clean it up so we're not duplicating code here. Private func, go to controller, and we're gonna pass in with view controller of type UI view controller. So we're gonna be doing UI work. So we're gonna to wanna to call this on the main thread. So we're gonna say dispatch q dot main dot async and we're going to be referencing uh this window up here so we're going to have to call self so we need to say weak self in and this will prevent retain cycles so we're going to say ui view dot animate and we want the one with three parameters. We want width duration, animations, and completion, okay? So our duration is gonna be 0 0.25. Then we have, these both are blocks, so we can press enter, and then completion, we can do an underscore, just to ignore this. We should also do a weak self, and you're gonna see what I'm doing soon here. We have two blocks and I can show you what we're doing. So this animate function will kind of blend two different states. So say I want to move this label up here, it would blend kind of it going up here and it would make like an animation. So it's pretty interesting. But what I actually wanna do is I wanna make the layer opacity equal to zero. So I'm gonna say self dot window dot layer dot opacity equals to zero. So this will uh, blend it to a dark screen. And then after that, I'm gonna copy this code up here. So let VC home controller, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just gonna do a bunch of space. So we're gonna have, we're gonna delete this VC one and we're gonna pass in the view controller here. We're gonna keep nav.modal presentation equal to dot full screen. And we're gonna keep this, but this needs a, optional chain now. So let's just take a look at what this looks like. So when we, instead of doing this, we're gonna delete both these blocks of code and we're gonna say self dot go to controller with login controller. And for the other one, we're gonna just copy it with home controller. So this actually, I don't think we'll be able to see anything right now. I think it's just gonna make the screen black. Oh yeah, so okay, so you actually can see, that's perfect. So 
you saw the white screen and it makes this little like fading animation. So right now the opacity is still zero. So what we're actually gonna do, we're gonna call another UI view dot animate. This time we only want width duration and animations. So our duration is gonna be 0 0.25. And our animations is we're just gonna copy the self.window.layer.opacity. We're just gonna turn it to one now. I'm also just gonna copy this little block here. I don't know if this is even necessary, but I like to do it anyways. So let's see if we can catch it fading and then fading back. So yeah, you see that? I, I kind of like that animation. So this is what I always do. So that's how I personally handle the changing of screens. So when you click log out, once it actually works, the reason why we want this check authentication to be public is we're gonna call this when we log out and get the confirmation that we have logged out. And it's gonna do that fading animation uh, away and then back like this. So you know, it's white, we fade out and then we fade back into the screen. So, and usually I would like to mention, usually in your launch screen, you would make we can actually just do this now. You would add an image view to the storyboard. I'm gonna change the horizontally and vertically center, and then I'm gonna make the width. Let's just keep it at 240. And then we're gonna open this little panel here. We're gonna select an image. We're just gonna choose this logo. Oh, that is way too big. Usually I have like a square one. So let's see if we can change the size. Oh, constant. Let's make it 120 and see what that looks like. Okay, so if we run this again, we should get our launch screen. Oh yeah, so it's gonna fade out and then it's gonna come back. So I like doing that. So this is one of my apps. As you can see, it fades in and fades out. But anyways, so now that we have our fading animations, the first thing I actually want to do is go to the home controller and we're going to implement this logout button. We have did tap logout already set up and we have set up the navigation right bar button item. All we need to do is say auth service dot shared dot sign out. And we get our completion block. We're gonna wanna do weak self error in. So now we have a weak self. So then we're gonna say guard let self equals self else return. Then we're gonna say if let error equals error. We're gonna say alert manager dot show logout error on self with error dot localized description. Oh, oh, and it's, oh, never mind. We don't need a localized description because we're already calling it in logout error. So that that localized description, Firebase will give you the reasoning for it not working. So then we're gonna just say return. So we wanna return out of the function. Now, if we did not get an error, we need to get access of the scene delegate somehow. So we can call this check authentication method. So how I do it is if let scene delegate equals self dot view dot window, okay, dot window scene dot delegate as scene delegate. We're then, we're then gonna call scene delegate dot check authentication. Now, if you want to do some error handling, if this fails, this if let, then you can do that. But I don't really see a reason why it would fail. So let's run this and try it out. So Firebase is currently logged in. I'm just gonna change this to light mode with command shift A. So when we click log out, it's going to do that with Firebase and then once Firebase has completed that, it's going to run this block here. We're gonna make sure that there's no errors. And then if so, we're gonna grab the scene delegate and run the check authentication. And at that point, that check authentication, the current user will be nil. So it will send us to the logout controller. So let's take a look. And there we go. We're at the login controller. Firebase has now tracked that. It has some kind of variable in the framework where it knows that, that we're not signed in, so it takes us to the login screen. 
I'm going to go back to my home controller. And for now, I'm going to get rid of this self.label.txt so I don't get confused later because we need to fetch the user. But for now, so I'm going to cut this episode short now because in the next video, we need to do did tap sign in and did tap register. And we want to do some validation, especially for the register. Firebase will take care of most things, but one thing that Firebase will not take care of is password strength. So if you have liked the series, then please click like. If you have any questions or just enjoyed the video, then please comment. And if you want more tutorials in the future, please click subscribe. Thank you.